Greeting guys. So uh, it has been uh, three months that uh, I haven't updated my YouTube since I sold my bike. So just to come by here and say hi to you all. Yes, I'm now without my bike and live a bikeless life. So I just want to say that I have yet to regret uh, selling my bike. Uh, by the way, my bike was uh, sold to a nice gentleman whom uh, I met on Facebook who has been uh, following my YouTube videos he came all the way from Para to buy my bike so yeah it was uh, sold at a very very attractive uh, price because uh, I just wanted to let go my bike as soon as possible as fast as possible so it was sold like uh, two or three weeks after I uploaded my video and uh, I thought the process of owner transfer was quite complicated but it wasn't it was actually quite simple and uh, yeah I thought of at first I thought of uh, putting my bike uh, on consignment so that uh, the bike shop will do everything for me they will sell the bike for me they will process the documentations for me but of course they do charge a uh, processing fee so luckily I didn't go for that option and I got my bike sold and I saved that processing fee which is about uh, 2,000 ringgit which is quite a lot the only sacrification is that uh, I just need to spend some time to go to the JPJ road transport department to do the ownership transfer which is not <clears throat> which is not uh, too complicated and very straightforward you can download the form from the JPJ website just fill it in bring to you don't even need to go to JPJ you just have to go to the, <clears throat> the you know the UT uh, what do you call that uh, the one stop center UTC yes UTC one stop center uh, the JPJ branch and you can do it there and it only takes you like oh, <clears throat> depends on the queue for me, it took me about less than 30 minutes for the ownership transfer. It is very easy. So, uh, and one more thing is that uh, selling a bike, you don't have to go to Pustakong for vehicle inspection. Not like uh, selling a car. So that also saved me a lot of time. So, if you guys thinking of selling your bike as well, don't uh, don't be afraid of the process. It's actually very straightforward. If you want to know more about the details, you can leave me a comment, and I'll try to answer. So okay, life without a bike. Uh, yeah, actually, I save managed to save some money. Uh, I save from the monthly installment. I save from the maintenance, save from the fuel, the I mean petrol, and uh, I have plenty of time now. So, uh, what I did with my spare time now is that yeah, I get more time to play video games, and I get to do exercise too. I go to gym, 
I go running or swimming during the weekend so I guess I live a healthier life yeah sometimes yeah I'm 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 yet to miss the riding uh, lifestyle yet so still okay for me uh, since I have uh, cut down my riding even when I was still owning the bike I don't go for weekend riding anymore very seldom uh, yeah and then one more thing is that uh, my MT-09 was the first batch so it's considered the old model and uh, it's very hard to price depreciation is quite serious and uh, I consider myself lucky for having that bike sold even now those uh, I see a lot of people a lot of bikers selling their bikes too especially MT-09 which is quite hard to sell even at the price of 30, 31, 32,000 for like the 2015 models 20, no, sorry 2016, 2017 models because people I uh, mean uh, buyers are looking for newer models less mileage and especially the new models that, with, that come with a uh, heat shifter and ABS uh, traction control and everything and with the new headlamp So, yeah, I, <clears throat> now I drive to work every day, which is kind of uh, boring, you say, but I'm quite okay with it for now because uh, I tend to enjoy driving more. Uh, it's not like I have a choice, I have to drive to work anyway, but. Uh, Get, uh, I have uh, recently I just subscribed uh, Spotify so I get to play any type of music I want during my uh, driving things like that uh, the only thing is that I don't travel to the outstation makan-makan jalan-jalan that often that's the only difference I guess and then uh yeah, I actually plan to do something else for the for my YouTube channel. So stay tuned. I'm uh, introducing. I'm going to introduce something new very soon, and uh, I plan to give it a surprise. So as usual, to all those who supported me. All, all those who still riding a bike uh, ride safe and uh, thanks for your support I'll see you soon GoPro stop recording <laughs>